Susie. Hi, friends. <laughs> what do you want there? Oh, well, I have the puppet theater that I made with my friends in Build It this week. What did you bring? Well, as it happens, I have some items that you can use to decorate oh. the puppet theater. Oh, Susie, do you want to tell our friends a puppet story today? We should. I brought along a book. What book did you bring? Inspiration. The Wind in the Willows. Enjoy. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Brown. Our story begins at the riverside. Hello, Mole, said the water rat. Hello, rat, said the mole. Would you like to come over, inquired the rat presently. Oh, it's all very well to talk, said the mole, rather pettishly, he being new to a river and riverside life and its ways. The rat said nothing, but stooped and unfastened a rope and hauled on it, then lightly stepped into a little boat, which Mole had not observed. It was pink and blue outside and white within, and was just the size for two animals, and the Mole's whole heart went out to it at once, even though he did not yet fully understand its uses. The rat sculled smartly across and made fast. Then he held up his forepaw as the mole stepped gingerly down. Lean on that, he said. Now then, step lively. And the mole, to his surprise and rapture, found himself actually seated in the stern of a real boat. This has been a wonderful day, said he, as the rat shoved off and took to the skulls again. Do you know, I've never been in a boat before in all my life. What? cried the rat open-mouthed. Never been in a, you never, well, I, what have you been doing then? Is it so nice? I saw that, asked the mole shyly, though he was quite prepared to believe it was, as he leant back in the seat and surveyed the cushions, the oars, the rowlocks, and all the fascinating fittings, and felt the boat sway lightly under him. Nice? It's the only thing said the water rat solemnly as he leant forward for his stroke. Believe me, my young friend, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing about in boats. Simply messing, he went on dreamily, messing about in boats, messing. Look ahead, rat, cried the mole suddenly. It was too late. The boat struck the bank full tilt. The dreamer, the joyous oarsman, lay on his back at the bottom of the boat, his heels in the air. Oh, thank you for doing that with me, Susie. That was so much fun. Thank you for listening. Well, if you want to tell your own stories with puppet theaters, you can check out this week's Build It with me and Creation Lab with Susie, where we help you build and tell your own stories with puppet theaters. If you do, you can post them online and tag the library on Facebook or Instagram so that we can see the stories that you told. We love seeing your art and your creativity. Well, until next time. Bye. Bye.